Hi friends, I'm Dr. Jeevat Ram. Today I will discuss about endometriosis and its treatment. The definition of endometriosis, the presence of endometrial tissue, both glands and stroma, outside the uterus. Tissue is morphologically and functionally similar to endometrial tissue, responds to hormones in cyclical manners. Etiology of endometriosis, theories. Samson's theory of menstrual regurgitation and implantation, metastatic theory. Retrograde menstruation causes endometrial fragments are transported to peritoneal cavity through tubes. Viable cells implant and grow. Young girls with obstructive anomalies of genital tract often develop endometriosis. Silomic metaplasia theory. Original silomic membrane transforms into endometrial tissue, explains endometriosis in ectopic sites. Lymphatic and vascular metastasis theory, lymphatic and hematogenous spread of endometrial cells, extensive communication of lymphatics between uterus, tubes, ovaries, pelvic and vaginal lymph nodes, kidneys and umbilicus. Genetic factors. Risk is seven times more if first degree relative has endometriosis. Immunological factors reduce clearance of endometrial cells due to decreased natural killer cell activity or decreased macrophage activity. Inflammation endometriosis may be associated with subclinical peritoneal inflammation. This picture shows the sites of endometriosis. Types of endometriosis, pelvic endometriosis, peritoneal endometriosis, ovarian endometriosis, deep infiltrating endometriosis, extrapelvic endometriosis, gastrointestinal tract endometriosis, urinary tract endometriosis, skull endometriosis, vaginal endometriosis, thoracic endometriosis. Clinical presentation of endometriosis, pain. Classical trite, dysmenorrhea, dysphorenia, and deep seated pelvic pain. Commence before onset of menses and continue throughout the menstrual period. Also, has a cyclic nature. Deep dysphorenia due to stretching of involved tissue during intercourse. Fixed retroverted uterus or involvement of uterosacrals and retrorectovaginal septum. Dysuria and dysthesia in exogenital endometriosis. Abnormal vaginal bleeding may include premenstrual spotting, polymenorrhea, and menometrorrhagia. Infertility present in majority of the women with endometriosis. Advanced disease, adherence and fixity results in structural damage to tubes and ovaries. Impairs tubular ovarian mobility. Ovarian problems in ovulation, luteinized unruptured follicle, oocyte maturation defects, tubal problem, altered tubal motility or ovum pickup, peritoneal factors, intraperitoneal inflammation, sperm problems, phagocytosis by macrophages, inactivation by antibodies, endomerphium, luteal phase defect, implantation defects, other symptoms. Extra pelvic endometriosis, cyclical rectal bleeding or hematoria, skull endometriosis, cyclical pain and bleeding in the skull, umbilical endometriosis, present as umbilical mass with cyclical pain, pulmonary endometriosis, cyclical hemoptysis, and hemothorax. Signs and symptoms of endometriosis, symptoms, dysmenorrhea. Dysphorenia, deep seated pelvic pain, dysuria, dysthesia, hematuria, infertility, signs, tenderness in cul de sac, nodularity in cul de sac, fixed retroverted uterus, adnexal tenderness, adnexal mosses. Investigations for endometriosis, transvaginal ultrasound scan, retroverted uterus with obliteration of cul de sac and Bilateral complex adnexal mosses may be suggestive. 
helps to differentiate endometriosis from other complex cysts like dermoids. Endometrial cyst, low level internal echoes with posterior acoustic enhancement, ground glass appearance, dermoid, posterior acoustic shadowing, presence of bone and teeth in cyst, presence of mural nodule and pins in needle. CA125 increased in moderate to severe endometriosis, also increased in non mucinous epithelial ovarian cancers. Laparoscopy, it is the gold standard investigation for endometriosis. During laparoscopy, entire pelvis should be examined systematically in clockwise or counterclockwise direction. AIMS, detection and biopsy of lesions, staging disease, concomitant laparoscopic surgical treatment, peritoneal lesion, classic lesions, powder burn or gunshot lesion black to dark brown nodules consisting of old hemorrhage surrounded by fibrosis, scoring, adhesions between ovary and broad ligament in between posterior uterus of vagina and segment colon, subtle lesions, red lesions, flame-like lesions and glandular excrescences, white lesion, white opacities, yellow peritoneal patches and circular peritoneal defects, ovary and endometriosis, Endometrioma of chocolate cyst. Cyst contains thick tarry fluid, chocolate fluid, derived from previous ovarian hemorrhage, adherent to broad ligament and pelvic sidewall. Superficial ovarian endometriosis. Superficial implants on ovary. There can be adherence to ovarian bed, subovarian adherence. Deep infiltrating endometriosis. Lanes are usually in rectovaginal space may involve uterosacral ligaments, cervix, bowel, or uterus. Lesions cause adhesion and scarring can be felt on pelvic and rectal examination as tender nodularity. Extra pelvic endometriosis, gastrointestinal tract, frequently involved sigmoid, rectum, ileocecum, and appendix. Symptoms, abdominal pain, disturbed bowel function, and cyclical rectal bleeding. There may be pain on defecation. Superficial implants may be seen on serosa. Urinary tract. Common symptoms. Cyclical hematoria, dysoria, and frequency. Pelvic ureter and bladder shows implants. Obstruction and hydronephrosis. Scar endometriosis. Seen at umbilicus. Port sites following laparoscopy. Abdominal incisions following caesarean section and epistomy scars. Present is painful swelling more prominent at menstruation. Cyclical bleeding is rare. Vaginal endometriosis occurs in posterior fornix as continuation of endometriosis from cul de sac. Thoracic endometriosis, lungs and thorax may be involved, leading to cyclical hemoptysis and hemothorax. Investigations CT scan in MRI. Identical picture is in ultrasonography. Color Doppler flow, increased vascularity, cystoscopy, involvement of bladder, sigmatoscopy if the women develops bubble symptoms, anti endometrial antibodies in serum, peritoneal fluid, and endometriotic fluid as well as in normal endometrial tissue, tissue necrosis factor, raised proportionate to the disease, histology. Histological confirmation is essential on microscopy typical endometrial implant with endometrial glands in stoma. Classification of endometriosis Stage 1 Minimal score 1 to 5 Simal spots of endometriosis seen at laparoscopy but no clinical symptoms. Stage 2 Mild score 6 to 10 Scattered fresh superficial lesions, no scarring or retraction or adnexal adhesions. Stage 3 moderate score 16 to 40 contain endometriomas less than 2 cm in size, minimal peritubal and periovian adhesion. Stage 4 severe score greater than 40, endometriomas exceed 2 cm, dense peritubal and periovian adhesions restrict motility, thickened uterosacral ligaments, involvement of bowel and bladder. Differential diagnosis of endometriosis. Chronic pelvic inflammatory disease, post-operative adhesions, 
old ectopic gestation, pelvic congestion syndrome, irritable bowel syndrome, diverticulitis, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, management of endometriosis. This is a chart showing the management of endometriosis, asymptomatic minimal endometriosis, observed 6 to 8 months, investigate infertility, symptomatic cases, drug treatment, minimal invasive surgery, surgery, drug treatment of endometriosis, combined oral contraceptives, administered intermittently or continuously, high incidence of side effects and risk of thrombus embolism, limit their prolonged use. Seasonal oral contraceptives for 84 days with 6 days tablet free. Reduce the menstrual period to just 4 cycles in a year. Oral progestogens exert an anti-estrogenic effect and their continuous administration causes decidualization and endometrial atrophy. Northesterone, 5 to 20 mg daily are didrogesterone. 10 to 30 mg daily. This hormone does not prevent ovulation and is suitable for women trying to conceive. Denazole, a synthetic derivative of ethinyl testosterone, mildly anabolic, anti estrogenic, and anti progestational. 200 to 800 mg daily for 3 to 6 months, starting on first day of menses. Side effects weight gain. High sutism, excessive sweating, muscle cramps, depression, atrophy of breasts and vaginal epithelium. Aromatase inhibitors, letrozole 2.5 mg, anestrozole 1 to 2 mg daily for 6 months. Anti-estrogenic and prevent conversion of androgen to estrogen should be given with vitamin D and calcium to prevent osteoporosis. Nausea, vomiting and diarrhea are other side effects. Gonadotropin releasing hormone. Gonadotropin releasing hormone is administered continuously to downregulate and suppress pituitary gonadotropins. It causes atrophy of endometriotic tissue. The synthetic analog of gonadotropin releasing hormone is given in doses of 10 to 20 mg intravenously twice daily. Prolonged gonadotropin releasing hormone therapy over 6 months causes hypoestrogenism and menopausal symptoms such as hot flashes, dry vagina, urethral syndrome and osteoporosis. RU486 tried at a dose of 50 mg daily for 3 months, reduces pain and delay recurrences. Failure of drug therapy is due to drug cannot penetrate fibrotic capsule, ectopic endometrium response less to hormones as compared to normal endometrium side effect prevent conception minimal invasive surgery aspiration of peritoneal fluid in cul-de-sac destruction of endometriotic implants less than three centimeter by dithermy cauterization or vaporization by carbon dioxide or ndyag laser larger lens in chocolate cysts can be excised residual lien can be dealt with hormonal therapy Cauterization of cyst wall young females. Role of surgery, failed medical therapy, infertility, recurrence, chocolate cyst ovary, laparoscopic breaking of adherence in pelvis relieves dysmenorrhea and pelvic pain. Laser uterocecal nerve ablation for midline pain. Prolapse of genital tract and bladder dysfunction is noted with laser uterocecal nerve ablation. Indications for surgery, advanced stage of disease detected, large lien, medical therapy fails or intolerable, recurrence occurs in elderly pairs women. M. Coagulation of peritoneal endometrial lens, adhesiolysis, fenestration and drainage of small ovarian endometriomas less than 3 cm diameter, cystectomy greater than 3 cm. Leprotomy in advanced and larger lens if medical therapy fails. Dissection and excision of a chocolate cyst, salipingo-oophorectomy, abdominal hystectomy, and bilateral salipingo-oophorectomy. Premenopausal women may need hormone replacement therapy after radical surgery. Hormone replacement therapy following bilateral ovary removal in young women may be prescribed under strict monitoring as a risk for recurrence remains. Total hystectomy and bilateral oophorectomy. Women with severe symptoms and those with fertility is not a problem. Combined therapy, 
preoperative gonadotropin releasing hormone monthly for three months reduces size and extent of lesions softens adherence makes subsequent surgery more easier and complete post operative hormonal therapy when surgery is incomplete or some residual lien is left behind prophylaxis low dose oral contraceptive pills reduce the menstrual flow and protect against endometriosis three monthly oral contraceptive pills are convenient to take and effective tubal patency tests should be avoided in immediate premenstrual phase to avoid spill Operations on genital tract should be scheduled in post-menstrual period.